here we are. We're getting ready to figure out exactly where to put this new garden. It'd be nice if it was kind of in line with the other garden. So I'm thinking over here somewhere. I might have to hack up those trees before beginning. But I'd really hate for any of these trees to fall later and smash my garden. So, I don't know, maybe I'll put it more in the center. But anyway, there is the gate. Here's the two posts that will hold the gate. And I got a couple of shims here because I noticed that the other gate had about a three quarter inch gap on the latch side and about a one quarter inch gap on the hinge side. So I am gonna just go ahead and strap all of this stuff together and then set it into two post holes. That way it already has the right gapping and I can fill in the post holes with everything in place. Next step, I gotta figure out how long my garden is gonna be. Now the plastic I bought is 10 feet wide, so I know it's gonna be a 10 foot wide garden, but the length of it is gonna be determined by how long these two rolls of uh, fencing are. So I'm gonna have to roll these out and measure them, and then uh, take off 20 feet for each of the ends, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've just unrolled the two wire fences. And I found out that it is pretty close to, my goodness, you can't even read that. Pretty close to 100 feet. So that means I have 200 feet of fencing. So that means I can go, oh, probably every bit of 90 feet long. But I'm not entirely sure I want it that long. Let's see, the old garden has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's only 56 long. And I think that's plenty long. So we may go about 60 feet. And of course, the first step is to get some stone. <clears throat> okay, so the corner post and the first post are installed. And you can see this is how we did it. I just put some uh, quarter inch shim on the hinge side, put a three quarter inch shim on the uh, latch side. That way it would tell us exactly where to put this post hole. Okay, so now we have our four cor corner posts set up. And we have our gate post set up, and that's one of the corner posts. And uh, let's see here. We are putting down some other posts every eight feet all the way, so we need seven. Okay, let's see if that's in line. You gotta bend it this way. I was trying to pull. It is impossible. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> okay. Huh. Good job. Alrighty, that's enough of that. Now we can do the rest of them. Looks good for me. Yep, so here we have the entire 64 feet of posts up. Okay, so next step is to start putting up some fence. Let's see, well we've got the fencing up and it's uh, tacked around the midsection of each of the posts. <coughs> I'm going to go back later and put some straps around the top and bottom, but right now I think we're going to go ahead and put the plastic down. Well, let's see, this is black, it's 4 mil. I don't know if that's thick enough, but it's what I could afford. So we're just going to lay a strip down here, 10 feet wide, about 64 feet long. Ah, here he comes my little helper. Okay, we went ahead and rolled down the plastic and it is quite hot today. I'm hoping this will kill off anything underneath the plastic because unfortunately my tiller died. Okay, so we ran out of chicken wire. We still have to go all the way around the backside and over to there somewhere. So I guess what we'll work on now is uh, putting in the gate. Well, let's see, the first step in installing the gate, this side over here has a pretty big gap underneath it, and this side is hitting the dirt. So I need to take my shovel and level that off. Okay, that is pretty well flush, and not too bad for the rest, so this is going to be the hinge side.
and I may as well get rid of this fence while I'm trying to attach it. This job might be easier with the gate out of the way. At least for the moment. So. Let's see here. that one's going to get. Alrighty, let's see, we still got six left. Oh, we got, yes, six left. Okay, now it's time to get this door in position. Let's see, with a couple of clamps and a shim, I'm just going to have to lay these on the ground. Okay, let's get this shim in place. There we go. Clamp in place. Okay, so now that the hinges are on, let's see if they work. Now what? Yeah, that works. What does it work? It works! Yep. Okay, that's probably wide enough. That's almost 90 degrees. Okay, the drill does not go far enough down to get these, so I'm going to have to crank them in by hand. Oh, look at that. Pushing the water out of this wet, wet wood. That is something. Slides open nicely, not hitting any dirt until we hit the end. Excellent. That's all for today. Okay, so we bought these uh, fence post staples here. We are going to see we're going to see how well they work. We've never used them before. I usually just use a staple gun to do this sort of work.